Switch Africa Green is a multi-country, EU-funded program supporting governments and other stakeholders in the Africa transition to inclusive green economy through the adoption of a sustainable consumption and production practices. The Green Tour project is working on the tourism sector and is working with the tour operators and the travel agencies to manage and improve social and environmental impacts by complying with sustainability criteria. Um, there's also a component on business coaching to enhance the export readiness to access the European market. My name is Marcy Onyango. I work at Ecotourism Kenya as a programs officer. Within the Green Tour project, I work as the project manager at Ecotourism Kenya. The Green Tour project is a project that we are implementing in Kenya with EU funding. And the project is not implemented entirely by Kenyan uh, implementation partners only, but we also have international. So for Kenya, we have Ecotourism Kenya and we have the Kenya Association for Tour Operators. And so along the lifespan of the project, you can hear of the ABTA, and then internationally, we have the European Centre for Eco and Agrotourism, ECIAT, and they are the lead partners of this project. My name is Naut Kusters, and I'm based in the Netherlands, and I work for the European Centre for Eco and Agrotourism. And I have been working with my organisation for more than 30 years in sustainable tourism. One of our main programmes is, uh, is a system, it's called Travel Life. It's working with tour operators in Europe, but also in, in, in what we call destinations like Kenya, to help those tour operators to become more sustainable. The Green Tour project aimed to replicate sustainable tourism. The approach group was really coordinated and the project was able to reach lower levels and think holistically. And why should they become participants in sustainable tourism? That is the tour operators, uh, the local communities, the community-based uh, tourism organizations, and any other actors along uh, that uh, supply chain. Eh? Then we have Kenya Association for Tour Operators. The reason why they, they are part of this project is because they hold the key or the focal point of any tourism industry. They work with the tour operators. And if tour operators stand at the focal point of tourism industries, then they fitted in as a, a partner within the project. The Green Tour project has been a very interesting experience. Uh, it's actually the first of its kind for us to handle as cattle. And uh, it has opened up a lot of issues that probably we were not exposed to. It has also enhanced the level of interaction we have with our members. So this helps people to not just use sustainability as a, a word, a marketing tool, but to actually understand what it takes to be sustainable in your operations and what you need to do. We have a, a set of group coachings that we are doing for those two operators who are, who are already reporting on sustainability through the Travel Life program. And these are still part and parcel of the Green Tour project. Uh, my name is Kate Mutali. I'm a coach, a green tour coach, and uh, specifically mandated to uh, coach uh, my organizations or the organizations uh, that uh, were under me in export marketing. The green tour uh, coaching program was holistic in a way that uh, they properly aligned or themselves very well with the uh, sustainable development goals, covering all the SDGs. Green Tour has provided sustainability training and I'm actually very happy to say that today we had our travel life audit in the office here. We've learned a lot in regards to sustainability as a company. It's been a great experience to go through the Green Tour coaching program. My first interaction with Travel Life was in November 2018 when we attended um, the first sustainability training. From there on, sustainability has been part and parcel of organization. It's been at the core and heartbeat of organization. And in everything we do, we've chosen to become very conscious and deliberate in our dis uh, decisions. 
Working with the local communities relates with responsible tourism because the destinations we are looking for, the attractions we are looking for, that tourism resource base is hosted by the communities. Inversi is a, a community project. Uh, it's a conservancy. It has several uh, portfolios. It has a lodge. It has community projects like school, dispensaries, water, the women projects like sanitary towels project. Today, we are sharing a lot of wood bursary that we got which we are very, very happy about that. Since February, when COVID-19 struck our country, uh, tourism went down uh, to almost zero. Uh, it was, there was lockdown, driver guides were financially down, and we needed money to train ourselves. We didn't have the finances, and uh, yeah, the Green Tour came in handy and to help us uh, financially to train quite a number of uh, tour guides, about 100 or so. We are trained and we are expecting more to be trained. During the pandemic period, which affected the whole globe, we actually had to move from now the physical online or face-to-face -face trainings and adapt the online mode of training. I would recommend uh, other tour operators to join the Green Tour project because uh, we have really um, learned a lot and benefited a lot from them, especially the trainings in, in marketing, the report writings, the support that we get when it comes to sustainability, and, and the awareness that they bring. So it is something I would really recommend uh, each, many other tour operators to join, the, to join this project. And what we request and what I would recommend uh, the Kenyan tour operators is to, to start with um, getting a, a certificate uh, like uh, Travel Life. Um, I believe that um, getting a certificate is a way to uh, research your company. That's how we started uh, about 10 years ago, by doing the screening, by doing an exercise to get a certificate. Uh, we became aware of our uh, strong points and also of our weaknesses. So it's a good way of starting uh, research and then you will find out how you can uh, improve and how you can become a more sustainable company. And uh, from my own experience and um, from European tourism, uh, European tour operators, this is definitely a key objective for the future, to work with sustainable companies.